Faxverse presents Man Wants to Buy an Old Cruise Ship and Transform It into Housing for the Homeless Homeless is a real problem today, and there are far too many people sleeping on the streets rather than in beds. Sadly, it's not just young and healthy people who are homeless, either. There are many elderly and sick people living on the streets, many veterans. Unfortunately, homelessness is not just an issue in the United States, either. There are people all over the world who don't have adequate housing for themselves and their families. There is one place where the homeless rate has significantly risen in recent years, and that's Portland, Maine. While there are shelters for the homeless in Portland, there just isn't enough room for all the people who need a safe place to sleep at night. There are many people in the area who would rather complain about the homeless people on the streets than do something to help them. Even the people who offer a homeless person a dollar or two for something to eat, they're not really trying to tackle the real problem of getting them off the streets. There is one man, though, who thinks he has found a solution to the problem, and his name is Ken Capron. This man wants to buy an old cruise ship and then transform it into housing for the homeless. How cool is that? Ken is a contractor, so he knows what he's doing, and his plan is to buy this old cruise ship that is no longer in use, and he wants to rebuild the entire thing so that it can be transformed into apartments and then dock it at the city's port. He believes that his homeless community could give over a thousand homeless people a place to live. He believes that his plan could help out in a couple of ways. First, it would get the homeless people off the street and into a safe place, and then second, there'd be no need to find a place to build homes for the homeless since the boat will be in the water. Ken wants to build housing on the ship for four distinct groups – the homeless, low-income individuals, workers, and immigrants. He'd also like to dedicate an area of the ship for vocational training areas to get them the skills they need to make money and hopefully get themselves out of being homeless. According to reports, the city's mayor is actually open to the idea. When Mayor Ethan Strimling was interviewed by the local news about this idea of a cruise ship becoming a homeless shelter, he said, I have no idea if it's the craziest idea I've ever heard or the most brilliant idea I've ever heard. Ken would like to convert the ship into five floors, each with 100 apartments. It is an ambitious idea, but if he's given the go-ahead, he plans to see the project through all the way to the end. So the question now is, who's going to pay for the ship and the renovations? Well, Ken's pretty confident that the plan is economically viable. Where people see obstacles, Ken sees possibilities. Ken has already applied to have an independent investigation performed to see if the project is feasible. If he's given the green light, he will first present the idea to the city committee. According to the Miami Herald, so far, people like the idea. If Ken can make his dream a reality, it would be the world's first floating community. What he likes best about the idea is that it won't be the rich and the famous living in this floating community. It'll be people who need housing the most. According to Ken, the entire project would cost somewhere between $5 and $10 million, and he's sure that with the help of other entrepreneurs like himself, charity functions, fundraisers, and anonymous donations, it's possible to get the funds necessary to get the ship ready for people to live. If Ken's dream does become a reality, the people who live on board, they'll have access to the necessary resources to eventually get them off the ship and living in an apartment on land. Ken says that's the goal. He doesn't want to make this homeless ship for people to live in permanently. He wants it to be a temporary stopover before complete independence for the homeless. We can only hope that Ken will get the funding he needs to help the homeless and to make his vision a life-saving place for many people. Now that's what I call a love boat. What do you think? Do you like the idea? Click the like button if you do, and be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos.